What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today the Indiana Pacers have waived point guard, backup veteran point guard, Brad Wanamaker, who they had signed to fill a good veteran backup point guard role. I remember Brad Wanamaker hadn't been signed and I was like, how has he not been signed? Like he's pretty decent backup point guard. He was on the Warriors and the Hornets last season and I thought that he was pretty decent on both those teams. I thought he's a little better on the Warriors than he was on the Hornets, but I thought he was pretty decent on both the teams. Yes, he is older he's in his 30s uh, i believe he's mid to late 30s around 34 35 maybe 36 i think he's 34 35 though so around his mid 30s and they will be signing Kiefer. i believe it's pronounced Kiefer sykes who or stikes who has been uh playing in the g league for the mad ants which is the indiana pacers g league team yeah has averaged 16 and a half points a game and and um around i think seven assists like four rebounds so pretty good stats there you'll definitely take that that is definitely someone that should get called up no doubt in my mind um very good call up there but i don't really know why they wave brad wanamaker yes he has not been playing that well and i can see that but at the same time it's like it's a g league guy versus a veteran who are you going to trust i would lean more towards the veteran but also, this is an older team, or I mean, a younger team. It doesn't really matter a ton if they win. Uh, Brad Wanamaker's only averaging like three, three and a half points a game and two assists and a rebound, which is pretty bad. You're not really looking for that at all. He's basically just taking up minutes out there on the court. So I do understand that. But I kind of think that Brad Wanamaker will get picked up by another team before his career is over. I don't really think that's the end of his career. But at the same time, when you're putting up that bad of numbers it definitely could be um but all in all i think it's a weird wave by the pacers because they aren't really trying to win but at the same time like they waved a dude that was making them lose in a way so i don't really know why they were i, I don't know because the g league season sh shut down so it's not like the dude's going to develop in the g league so you call him up to your main roster to hopefully develop him there i guess it's kind of a weird situation. Let me know what you guys think of it, though, in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it, because uh, especially you Pacers fans, I don't know how to feel. I think it's kind of weird, but I I could be wrong, and maybe it's a gr the greatest signing they ever make in their career. Probably not, but see you guys later. Don't forget to leave like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. I'll see you guys all later in the next upload. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends. Bye.